Well, we've got these storm windows on here, but these would be the same location that the screens would go to. So what you'd want to do is to measure from your blind stop to your blind stop on this side. And then you'd want to measure from, this would be your sill, would want to measure to, then you'd want to measure to the top of your blind stop. Now you can measure to the trim or you can measure to the brick mold, but being that this is a double window, your brick mold passes along the top. So this one you'll have to you'll have to measure from the from the blind stop right there. So you get those measurements, top blind stop to seal, and then from side to side the blind stop to blind stop. All right, now to get your pieces cut, what you do is you lay these lay these two pieces out on something flat. And then we got we need 28 across. So what you'd have to do, you can either put a mark or you can come from the very end. That way what you can do, you can hook your tape on the end of a piece of plywood or something. And that way you won't have to hook it on this and have to have somebody hold it. So put that right on the edge like that and then bring your other piece over here. Or you can just put two marks on, on something. But what we're going to do is we're going to come from that way. Over here to 28 inches. Oh, really, it's 28 and a quarter. Okay, so we got our mark at 28 and a quarter. Now, put this piece right on the edge of the corner there. Now you got to mark the inside of where where this flat piece running across is going to stop, which is going to be right here at that point. So again, we'll put it back on. Outside edge on our 28 and a quarter. Put it right there. Come over here to that point. Put us a mark. Got us a mark there. Come over here to this one. Same thing. Get right here. Put us a mark. Then we get our tape. Come from that mark. So we want to come from that mark over to our our first mark. Then we just look at this, which is 26 and a quarter. Could be 26 and 5 sixteenths, but I would rather make it just a hair bit smaller because I'd rather have a little clearance in there to move these things around. Trying to build these things a second time is really tough. So we're going to call it 26 and a quarter. So that means our top pieces are going to be 26 and a quarter. Now we need our side pieces. We'll do them exactly the same way. Because this piece has already been laid out, so it's just a matter of hooking our tape there. Coming over to 80 inches. Okay, and then we want to come over 80 inches. And we get our, our piece. Put it right on that mark. All right, and we see we've got, I'm going to call it 78 and 3 eighths. So I think I'm going to do 78 and a quarter just to give us that little bit of room for wiggle. I always like a little wiggle room. All right, we're ready to cut our pieces. Okay, so 70, 78 and a quarter. And the other one was 26 and something. I don't know. We're going to have to go up and remeasure it again. My memory spans about about 10 seconds. When you want to cut this stuff, you want to get a hacksaw blade that's at least 32 teeth per inch. If you get anything bigger than that, in other words, a 24 or 18, 
this thing's going to be hanging up all the time. Even a 32 tooth, it's kind of hard to get through this because this aluminum is so thin. But in any case, that's what we've got. You can see how much difficulty I'm having. I normally kept these on a miter saw. You know, that other one I showed you where I was cutting the blind, they used a hundred tooth blade. Well, they make aluminum blades, but rather than blinding an extra blade, just get you a, uh, I mean, you're gonna always need a, a 90 or a hundred tooth blade anyway, but find the cheapest one because you're not gonna use them that much and they'll last a long time. All right, we've got those two cut. We got our four corners in the long pieces. It's better to do the long pieces first. That way you can lay them down, which I'm just gonna show you where you can slide the other pieces in. But first, oh, and these things, these corner clips will only go in one way, so don't worry about it. If you get them backwards, they're not gonna go. Now on these end pieces, even though we're not gonna use them, we're gonna put some spring tensioners on there so I can show you how they go in and what they do this would either go on the bottom or the side it doesn't matter it depends on what kind of window you have there's one and then you just go ahead and put the other one in same way you just slide it right on you really have to put these on before you slide these things together or you can't get them in all right, and then what you do, turn this up straight. This is why I say do the long ones first because now what you can do is you can take these short ones and they're a little harder to put on, especially with these spring tensioners on there. Now you can uh, push on them and get them in. Now this is the other end, the top. So we'll get it. Like I said, they'll only go one way. Okay, we got those two, but the other one, we'll lay it flat. Or not lay it flat, we're going to lay it up. huge screen we're going to get us some center rails and put in here so what you want to do don't measure at the center because the center may be bowed out and then if you put it in the center it might not fit your window so come to one of the ends there's your cross I've got 26 26 and a half or really all we need is one I don't know why I said two okay so we'll go cut one 26 and a half okay now it's time to put in our, our clips for the center rail slide that in push it down a little bit I've already got the other end in. Set that into the center. Go to the other side. This is why I said measure one of the ends because see now we're going to have to sp spread this thing apart because it has pulled together in the center and if you would have measured in the center then you'd have a crooked screen. So in this case 
spread it apart, slide it in there, push it together. Luckily, it's bowed in. Usually when it's bowed out, I sometimes have to kind of bow them in to keep this thing from moving around. So we're really lucky on this one. All right, let's get a let's get our screen wire.